I'm here with the video review for Transformers Generations uh, IDW Orion packs. Uh, this guy is based off of the design in the Spotlight comic that comes with him. Uh, I didn't grab it, but it's just um, a variant cover of that comic book. Um, he Something happens, and I don't even know because I didn't read the comics before him, but he, he loses his body and gets reformatted as this kind of weird, kind of almost El Camino-ish pickup truck. Um, he does have his gun and axe that he comes with that you can store on the sides like that. Um, we'll just put those off to the side. Uh, the axe is like, actually we'll take a quick look. The axe just looks like a, uh, like an Energon axe. Just a simple little axe. Not too bad looking. Uh, the gun is very Prime-ish, Prime-esque. So the gun is pretty cool. A little light, but gun's not bad. Uh, so yeah, so as you can see, he is a weird kind of pickup truck with these fins on the back to kind of fill in the, because if these fins weren't here, um, there would just be like a big gap right here because these are the arms folded up. Uh, I believe you can actually remove these. Yeah, you can. I'll like break things live on camera. Yeah. So it would kind of look ugly with this big gap in the way. We'll just put that back. So yeah, he's like a kind of like an El Camino, like an old pickup, like like an old like '50 Chevy pickup truck, kind of like a short bed, kind of that style. A uh, nice clear window, the Autobot logo. Just a nice little, nice little truck. I do like the design. Very clean looking. So yeah, to transform this guy, this roll pretty nicely. To transform this guy, he does have a pretty neat transformation, especially with the legs. So what we're gonna do is going to come up to the front here and uh, split the front in half. And then we're going to splay out these sections completely out to the sides, like that. Um, then we're gonna come under here, and these are the arms folded up, and they actually peg into the legs. So we're just gonna pop these up. You can see the peg holes there on the, uh, what will become the tops of the forearms. Uh, these pegs just peg in right there. Right there. Come around here, fold them, rotate them at the waist, 180 degrees. Um, we'll split the legs. Uh, you might have seen it already, but there is a problem with this mold. I don't know about long-term problems or if it's a structural problem, but I'll show it off now. The legs peg together with these two pegs, and they just pinch together. And as you can see, where this one pegs in right there, there is a stress mark. Seems to be a pretty common problem right in there. It doesn't seem to be doing any structural damage, and I can, might be able to fix that with a hairdryer, but just be aware of it. It does get covered up mostly by the legs. Um, and then we're just going to come down here, and there's a hole here, and a peg, silver peg right there, that pegs in. Make sure you lift the, the front part up, which will become the knee, and just peg that down. So again, just cording this down, just give it a pinch. And that's the lower half done. So it's a pretty neat little leg transformation there. We'll uh, come up a little bit. Now for the upper body, split the arms. <clears throat> kind of, it, uh, it's hard to show, but there's a peg at the end of this gray piece. Let's see if I can show it. I don't know if it's going to focus or not. See right under, right under there. See right there, that when it's in vehicle mode, it pegs in like, like that. And you just want to unpeg it. Kind of bring it up and out of the way. Then we're going to come under here and fold the wheels behind him. They don't peg in, but they'll just stop. And that will allow us, bring the arms forward a little bit, to seat this. There's a um, like a double hinge in there. And then you just want to push it all the way forward and down until it clicks in like that. Just make sure it clicks. 
Now is another double hinge or a triple hinge up here at the shoulder. I'm going to accordion that forward and there's a peg on the side of his body and there's a hole right here and this will sit when you accordion this forward it will sit in there like that. It doesn't lock by any stretch of the imagination but it will hold and it will basically hold, you know, guide it into that spot and keep it generally in that area. Rotate the forearms around, flip out the fist. Just basically you know, bring this around so that the, uh, the arms are facing the right way. And then last but not least, push down on this until it clicks and reveal the head. And there we have Orion Pax all transformed up in his robot mode. And he is very nice looking. Uh, he's a little bit small, obviously, since all the new deluxes are small. Oops, forgot to peg that on, man. Uh, he's a little bit small, but so are all the newer deluxes, modern deluxes. So, you know, it is what it is. But, as far as articulation, head is on a ball. Yep, head is on a ball. Uh, limited side to side. Because of the uh, the cavity where it sits and forward and back um, it does have the one thing I hate and that's back plates above behind the heads I think that's so lazy but what are you gonna do um, you also notice in the spotlight comic it always talks about him having a mouth plate and how he misses his mouth plate and he doesn't have a mouth plate and there's no way to flip out a mouth plate nothing so you would think after reading the comic book, there would be a mouth plate involved, but there isn't. Um, shoulders uh, rotate, swivel around. Um, they will pop off of this this joint right there, whatever the peg, pretty easily. I mean, this one on mine tends to be pretty solid. This one tends to be a little bit looser, but it is what it is. It's going to vary. Uh, shoulders also go in and out. Rotates at the bicep, bends at the elbow, the ratchet, a little bit backwards, 90 degrees forward, swivels at the wrist, in and out for transformation, um, rotates at the waist, bald hips, um, upper thigh, really stiff knee. Uh, you don't get 90 degrees out of it, actually it's barely a 45, but yeah, it's mostly because of uh, yeah, it's just not gonna yeah, it's it's just because of the way the the uh, the legs are set up. That's the most you're gonna get. I thought something was caught or something that wouldn't go anymore, but no. And then the feet have this forward and back swivel, as well as a bowl joint. So ankle tilts equal good toy. So. Obviously the chest, the front window becomes the chest, so you got the nice clear parts, as well as uh, fog lights above it, you know, above the chest, I guess above his nipples. Uh, the yellow markings on his forearms, which are very prime, you know, the very basic uh, white and blue, white and blue, red and blue color scheme. Uh, it's very cool that this, this actually hides the wheels very nicely, which is always which I do actually really like. I really like it when they actually successfully hide wheels. You know, you don't see them on the back. I like when they hide them completely, like more like this. But when you don't see wheels, I think that's a uh, on a vehicle, on a land vehicle. I think that's pretty cool. So as far as weapons, his axe can be held. It's a little bit thicker up here. There's a nub here to stop it, so it doesn't hold. You know, it doesn't hold it all the way low like that. And it actually gets a little bit thicker, so it slides in very easily. This is very loose. And then it gets thicker, so he holds it, and now it's solid. So there's his axe. And I never use the axe. Because he doesn't really use an axe. And then he can hold his gun. And then with the axe, what I do is I take it, and I stick it behind... Oops. Right in between the middle of the wheels. And I don't know if that's supposed, if that's official or not. 
I don't think so. I don't remember seeing that in the instructions. But pretty much everyone does that, I think. And I think that looks a lot better. So yeah, uh, you can get this guy pretty cheap on sale now. He's pretty much getting clearanced out along with a lot of the other ones. Or you can usually find him on sale. You know, just a general sale. I think I paid seven or eight bucks. And you know, he's totally worth that. He's probably the coolest engineering wise out of the uh, the newer IDW figures. You know, he's totally worth picking up, so uh, you know you shouldn't really have a problem finding him at this point. And I would totally say pick him up. He's actually very clean looking all around as opposed to some of the earlier like the full Cybertron toys, which are just hollow as all hell. You know, this guy's pretty solid looking. And I think they took the, uh, you know, the economy and their, uh, you know, their lack of funds, or their lack of ability to spend money, and did some pretty cool things with this guy. You know, he doesn't feel like he's cheapened because of any, you know, artificial reasons, like they can't spend as much. You know, I think they did a really good job with this. So yeah, I say, if you find, if you have the means to pick him up, pick him up, he's worth it. So yeah, this has been the video review for Transformers Generations IDW Orion Packs.